Hello, my name is Mark Sundahl, and I, it's my honor to welcome you to Infinity and Beyond, Space Law 1.0. This presentation has been hosted by and organized by Larina, which is a portal uh, that provides resources to lawyers around the world and uh, also builds a community for those lawyers to participate in. Space law has, is not a new area, but uh, it has undergone a, an extraordinary transformation in the past few years uh, due to the uh, extraordinary uh, technological innovations that have taken place. Now, let me introduce myself before I go any further. My name is Mark Sundahl, and I'm a professor of law at Cleveland State University, where I am the founder and director as well of the Global Space Law Center which is the only space law center at a United States law school that is dedicated exclusively to the study of the law of outer space. And I offer, as you will see, uh, a, and I will discuss further, um, a curriculum at the Global Space Law Center uh, for those of you who are interested in pursuing uh, your study of space law beyond this presentation. And uh, so I will be providing information about that as we go along and I'll reference the Global Space Law Center. But let me make the point of saying now that uh, we offer a course and that will be offered again in the fall of next year, 2022, uh, that is open to all, whether you are an executive in the space industry, whether you are a law student uh, earning your JD now, whether you are a high school or college student and you wanna get a taste and understanding of this fascinating area of the law that governs the activities of governments and ever increasingly private actors in outer space. My other credentials, and uh, they go back uh, some time, I have a great deal of experience in the field of space law. As I said, it's not a new area of the law and I've been working in the field for a good 20 years or so. And currently in addition to directing the Space Law Center, I'm an employee of NASA or I serve as an advisor to the NASA administrator on uh, new regulations and policies concerning NASA's operations. And uh, much of that work has been focused on the relationship between NASA and private entities uh, that we see emerging in the spacescape. So let's uh, dig into the material here now and talk a little bit about the space industry and what exactly man and women are doing in space and have been doing in space. Of course, it, um, uh, I wanna nod my, tip my hat again to Laurina and thank them for making this possible and uh, allowing me to kind of broadcast this field of law that is gaining new traction and expanding steadily and is offering new opportunities to those who study it and become knowledgeable in the field of space law, believe me, there's a need for new space lawyers and good space lawyers. So if you set your sight on a career in space law, you won't be disappointed. But let me turn to uh, what we're doing in space because I always think as a first principle, and this goes to whatever area of the law you are studying, um, is that before you regulate an area of activity, you wanna understand that area of activity. What exactly is being done? and what the goals are and what the policy needs are. And then, only then do you try to figure out and determine what the rules are that should govern the activity in order to serve the interests of the stakeholders and those that are, are active in, the, in that area. So let's look at that. 